Oh my gosh, be careful. The ground's super loose here. If we fall, we're going to seem like such idiots. We won't fall. We just need to get the scoop and be able to do it. Ready, Pam? Three, two, one. And... I wonder what that was. You need to show yourself! Whoever... Flowers? What is it? What do you need? Get it yourself. It's Mr. Yates. He wants the 1945 Grand Paladin brought up to the house right away. He what? What? What for? Special occasion is all he said. Oh, my dear sweet Lawrence, no occasion is that special. That good, huh? You have no idea. Ugh. Fine. It's his blunder.
Are you all right, Patron? Uh, I'm fine, Santino. It's just... Hombre. Check that out, would you? I get it. Sir, I present to you the 1945 Grand Paladin. Huh. Somehow I thought it'd be bigger. Come on, Flowers. Guests are waiting. Get yourself patted down. We're still on alert from all those big shot CEOs getting offed. I need to search you if you want to pass. You seem nervous. You got something to hide? Okay, man. Vamos. So here's the deal, Flower. I have always considered the Heralds the unspoken. Ah, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Flowers, our resident sommelier. I believe he has brought us something quite special. Perhaps you will educate us, Mr. Flowers. This is the 1945 Grand Paladin, one of only five bottles in existence. The vintage is legendary, the proverbial unicorn wine. The year was hot, the wines super concentrated, and thanks to hail and frost, the production was small. Only 300 bottles were ever produced. And when the vineyard was bombed during the closing days of World War II, only a single crate survived. It is said to have amazingly complex aromas with long, savory layers of fruit and spice flavors and a silky texture. Enjoy. Wonderful. Thank you, Mr. Flowers. Feel free to stick around in case our guests have questions. This wine was gifted to me by the Art Society in acknowledgement of my firm's legal services. It stands as a powerful reminder that Providence draws its strength not from force, but from partnership. We are but a few, and yet together, we are unstoppable, because we stand united. My friends, loyalty is everything, which is why we cannot allow traitors into our ranks. Ah, oh, yes. Here it comes. This woman has waged bloody war on us. More than a dozen heralds and operatives dead. Your colleagues and clients, my friend, Ken Morgan. 
Not to mention the partners themselves, our founders, our benefactors. Make no mistake, this woman's hands are soaked in blood, our blood. And Arthur Edwards, the new supreme head of Providence, is handing her the keys to the kingdom. Now, does that seem right to you, my friends? Does that sound like loyalty? Absolutely. Oh, I agree. Absolutely. Perhaps Edward simply recognizes talent when he sees it. Perhaps this is why I am also in the running to become constant and following this childish outburst. I dare say I am in the lead. Don. What, what did you say? You're what lying, of course. Which only proves my point. You cannot be trusted, Miss Burnwood. This woman will be our downfall. That is, unless we take matters into our own hands. You are heralds, sworn to protect Providence against all threats, including inside ones. I have devised a plan. Together we can make it work, but you have to decide now, my friends. Are you with me? Yes. Yes. I agree. Yes. Yes. Listen to yourselves. Don Yate is not even appointed constant yet, and already he conspires to betray his master. I don't pretend to understand Edward's every move, but I do know that this man is an opportunist and unworthy of office. Then you are a traitor to the Heralds. The room is against you, Tamara. Stand down now or share her fate. Edwards will hear about this. I think not. I am sorry, but you brought this on yourself. Mr. Cortazar. Escort Miss Burnwood to my office. I'll join you shortly. Right. Move it. Let's go. I'm warning you, Yates. This will not go your way. Remember, Flowers, we need to get our stories you never saw a thing. Diana Burnwood died today thing. by the hand of I... Rogue Agent 47. Tamara Vidal, who saw through the assassin's disguise, was killed as well. This is what you will see. All of you. Get on? I agree. Hey, so yo, they're checking out the fence. Now. A toast then, in her honor. Savor the taste, because you never will again. And let me remind you, we are in this together. One goes down, we all go down. Here's to loyalty. Oh, yeah. might have a possible disturbance. I'm moving to investigate. We'll keep you posted. Oh, yeah. Quick! 
Give you the floor and get yourself a guard outfit. Yates won't be long. Good. I was beginning to worry. Were you? No. Listen up, 47. Yates will be here shortly. He'll have his thug Cortazar do his dirty work, but he won't pass up on the chance for a good gloat and a monologue. So, private space? Kill room decor? Exactly. We won't get another shot at this. Now sit down and blend in. When I provide a distraction, you just be ready to move. Corvo, pick up your damn phone. Plan B is a go. I repeat, plan B is a go. Start prepping a crime scene, like we discussed. Remote, staged accident. Oh, and Corvo, make it for two. Just improvise. Miss Burnwood. You rolled out the red carpet just for me. Don, you shouldn't have. So confident, even in defeat. I suppose you're not used to danger, always safe behind your screens. Just tell me one thing before we part ways. Why me? Why you? Why would Edwards trust you? Please. It will keep me awake at nights, and I'm 65. I get up four times to piss as it is. Oh, it's simple, really. Edwards is proud. He considers himself the cleverest man alive, and yet we tricked him on Isle of Scale, and it's eating him up. He needs to win. Full, unequivocal victory. My recruitment was just the feather in his cap. By the way, you were right about one thing. Yeah, I'm all ears. If it's any consolation, Don, your instincts were dead on. I will be constant now. And I will make it my mission to tear down Providence brick by brick. Finish it. Such a good boy. Well done, 47. Better get rid of the body. Won't be long before they come looking. When you're done, meet me on the dance floor. Oh, and dress appropriately.
It's done. Now what? Now, we strike at the heart. Edwards. You know how to find him, don't you? Why, Edwards finds you, 47. He is untraceable, and he never lets you forget it. He is cocky, and that will be his downfall. What's the plan? Too many eyes. Meet me at the Olive Grove at sunset. One last tango, 47. How did you know? Your deal. That kind of power always comes with a price. What's yours? I think you know. I am sorry. This is a necessary evil. What have you done? Eat the brand neurotoxin. Transfers by touch. See, Edwards learns by his mistakes, 47. And as you've clearly demonstrated, brute force is futile. It had to be me. It was the only way. To get this close. My family. I know what you did. After all these years, I finally know. I am sorry. You didn't have a choice. I did. Providence used you, but I'm no better. All I saw was a blank slate, a weapon to wield. I told myself it was what you needed, but people aren't meant to be controlled. This is a kindness. Goodbye, Agent. Are you still here? Still clinging on to your self-image. Agent 47, the apex predator. Always hiding behind the head. Was perfection its own justification? Or a willful distraction? A wall built contract 
by contract. To shield you from the uncomfortable truth. You're exactly the tool they bred you to be. <laughs> Quite a piece of work you are. How could you possibly function on your own? You never even had a name. Until I gave you one. That's him. Burnwood never ceases to surprise me. You really are a most singular individual. And to think, she wanted me to put you down. Lucky for you, I never throw away anything useful. Prepare the serum. Forgetting's not so bad. You've done it before. What's he doing? Is he still looking at us? I'm afraid so. Poor Sap just won't accept his days are done. Perhaps I should take him out to the woods and set him free. Oh, it's a classic. <laughs> he was a loyal tool. But everything goes the way of the horse and cart eventually. I couldn't agree more. Are you done? The toxins are playing into your fears. Don't let them. Come on. Got to get your head straight. She wants me dead. She has every right to after what we did. But that's not what is really going on. She chose power. In the end, she was just like them. No. She found a way to turn Edward's own cleverness against him. The rest is up to you. I don't know how. You do know. Once you dispose of Edwards, I will dismantle Providence from the top down. It will finally be over. All you have to do is embrace the past. <laughs> 